this is Hildron 101010 from the Computer Clan on thecomputerclan.com with part 2 of the Macintosh SE demo. We left off last time with a brief demo of the Macintosh SE with um, an external hard drive hooked up to it with the operating system on it that magically started working when I did the demo. So now I'm going to show you some more programs and other things I didn't show you last time and also do a little bit of a hardware tour. So let's start it up. Little boot sound. And... Let's we'll wait for this to start up. It takes like less than 20 seconds. All right, we've got the desktop loading here. Okay, it's ready. So, what we're going to do is open up the System 6 hard drive, I renamed it, instead of Gamma Sigma or whatever it was before, whatever the person named it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into, oh, I don't know, let's see, graphic supplies, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in here, uh, full paint, Mac draw. Uh, cricket graph, I don't know what that is. Let's go to Mac Draw, I don't know what that is. Ooh, that sound didn't sound too good. I think this hard drive might be just dying, but it's still working now anyway, so... It did uh, experience a bit of um, a rough fall a few weeks ago. My cat actually knocked it off the top of the computer and it actually fell into the ground. So it's probably damaged on the inside, but it's still working for now at least. Alright, so we got Mac um, Paint, I think, or Mac Draw, whatever it is. Mac Draw 2, okay. And let's attempt to do something cool. Let's choose Square and we'll do Bricks. Oh, yeah, I just drew some bricks. Look at that. Let's do Lines. Oh, no, wait. Oh, let's see. Let's do a circle. Alright, so I can actually move these around. Put that inside there. These are all individual objects, so I can just move them around like that. Uh, let's do this tool and choose that. We can actually, I think, write something if I choose that again. Yeah, it's a little bit tedious compared to modern programs, I guess. But anyway, that's how that works. Let's take a look at the uh, about map draw info. It's by Claris, all right? Yeah, the people who make Claris works, I believe. Copyright 1987-1989. Now, since I have MultiFinder on, I can just click on this little icon in the corner here and switch between apps. So now I just switch back to the Finder. I don't know if I showed that in the last demo or not, but yeah, I have MultiFinder enabled. I can also open up the Apple menu and scroll to the bottom and switch between apps here. I can also choose about MultiFinder and it'll give me the MultiFinder information. So let me switch back to the app by clicking this little icon, and I can go to File, Quit and hit no to those changes. All right, now we're back in the Mac Draw window. We'll close this and open up Full Paint. It's taking a while. All right, this one might be a little bit easier to use. Uh, let's change the size here. It's, oh, that didn't work so well. Um, wow, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There, and I said hello, alright? Draw a little smiley face. So yeah, there you go, there's, um, I think this was a uh, full paint. Now let's see the information about full paint. Full paint and Arbor Soft Works Incorporated. There you go. Alright, so we can quit this. And hit no to the changes. And, um, ooh, Tetris is on here. Yes, yeah, so I got a different keyboard for this so I can actually play Tetris. Start game. I totally suck at this game, though, so don't expect much. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was the wrong place. I don't want to do that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, forget it. I lose. So anyway, this is part of the desk accessories layer. So when you go to the About menu, as you can see, it says About DAs. That stands for Desktop Accessories, not District Attorney. And it says all of the desk accessories are grouped into this layer. So I can open up 
a bunch of desk accessories, and simply go to File and hit Quit to close them all at once. Or I can choose the application name and see information about that individual application. So I can go to Tetris and hit About Tetris. And it gives me the About information about Tetris. Or I can simply go to File, hit Quit. And it closes all the desktop accessories. Alright, so we'll close that. Let's get uh, one more thing. Let's see... Yeah, it's Microsoft Word, etc. Not much else in here. There is Word Perfect. Wow, that's old. I think these are just documents. Let's open them up. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough RAM. I don't want to change the memory settings. Uh, let's see if I can open up anything. Oh, that just opens up in Teach Text. Uh, I don't know why it's called that, but that was the default uh, text program with Mac OS um, 6, or System 6. Let's quit that. Oh, well, let me just make sure about that. Teach Text. Yeah, copyright Apple computer. Alright, so I got that right. Alright, so that's a few more software things and MultiFinder. Um, I can now show you some of the hardware bits of this computer, so I'm going to shut this down and show you the hardware. Here we have the back of the Macintosh SC and the SCSI hard drive on top. Here is the SCSI connector, and I have the power for the um, SE running through the hard drive. So the hard drive is plugged into the wall with this power cable here, but the SE is plugged into the SCSI drive through here. So the hard drive always stays off, and the computer always stays on. Now if I flip it on, it'll turn the computer on. So it's only one switch instead of two. If you had them plugged in through two outlets, you need to turn the computer on and the hard drive on, but that's why you run it through here. So it's just all in one switch. Here's also the mouse that came with it. It is the, well, let's see the model here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't give the name for the mouse, but it does for the keyboard, I know it does. This isn't the keyboard that came with it, but the keyboard that came with it does not work too well. Uh, this is the Apple Design keyboard. It's relatively good, but I don't think it's as good as the one that came with it. The keys are a little bit harder to press. The one that came with it is actually this one, but uh, some of the keys on it are actually broken. But this one's a lot easier to type on, in my opinion. There's the Apple logo. Uh, power button. If you look at the back here. It just says Apple Keyboard. Apple Computer Incorporated, Cupertino, California. Made in USA. You don't see that much more. So that's a little bit of the back of the computer. Uh, the front just has um, two floppy drives on it and of course the screen. You need the screen to see what you're doing. These are two 800K drives right here on the front, and that's obviously the screen. If you don't know what the screen is, uh, I, I can't help you there. But yeah, no, that's about it. I'm not going to open the thing because it requires a different type of screwdriver than what we normally have, Phillips and Standard. It, it doesn't use that. It uses like the star tip or whatever, so I don't feel like doing that. But anyway, yep, that's a extended tour of the Macintosh SE. Hope you enjoyed it.